What is up 614 crew? Welcome back to the vlog. We are not in Ohio right now and I have not uploaded in a super long time so you guys have no idea what's going on right now. If you guys do not follow my Twitter you have no idea as to where we are or anything like that. We are actually in is it Dallas? Dallas, Texas as of right now because we are here for her sister's cheer competition. So we are here through Monday, so I'm hoping that this vlog even gets put up on time. Okay, so since it's been a little while, there is a lot of updating that I need to do. I don't want to do it all right here because that would just be absolutely boring. We still have a ton of the city to explore in the three days that we're here or whatever that is, but um, there's one big thing that I would like to announce. The car has, by the time of this video, it's starting to get painted. Uh, we already picked out the color. It is not gray. I'm not going to let you guys know what it is. It's going to be a total secret, but I know that you guys will absolutely love it as much as I do. But uh, yeah, with that being said, we're about to head into the shopping center right here and then explore around a little bit. And then we have to go to uh, a dinner and a show. It's like the medieval times thing. It's going to be really cool. Yeah. So fun, fun day in store. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I cannot stress to you how limited we are on time. We have to leave here in about like 15 minutes, but I wanted to go ahead and show this to the vlog because this is absolutely crazy. Back in Ohio, we do not have things like this. This freaking hotel, hotel, hotel. I literally hotel. just called it a hotel. <laughs> this mall has four floors. This thing's absolutely ridiculous. And it has these Chinese lanterns in the middle and then an ice skating rink. This place is freaking dope. But yeah, like I said in the beginning, we do not have too, too much time here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, get into these stores and then probably head back to the hotel. Okay, we are here in our medieval times now. So this is supposed to be a place where you kind of sit down, eat, and then also enjoy a show while you're eating. So we have been assigned a red and blue night or something like that. I don't even know how it works. Red and yellow night. Um, and then they are going to be down there battling or something like that i don't know really cool concept i thought it was going to be super super lame like tables and circles but we are actually all like set up in a line as you guys can see i don't know i will let you guys know how i feel about this place after we sit down eat and enjoy the show good and gracious nobles welcome join us as we embark on a journey into the heart of chivalry of both knights of elegant horses and the quest for a champion the hundreds of knights in service to the Queen boldly petitioned Her Majesty to hold a great tournament in order to find one who will stand as protector of the realm and defender of the throne, a warrior who wears the crest of the Queen and in all things bringer of the Queen's grace or instrument of the Queen's justice. In one passage of arms after another, these six knights have arisen as the finest in the art of war. From the western marches come the champions of Castilla, Santiago and Navarre, the Red Knight, the Black and White Knight, and the Yellow Knight! Okay, so we wrapped up dinner last night and we came back to the hotel. We had to fall asleep on this freaking box spring mattress thingy. Pull out couch. This thing was so freaking uncomfortable. Heather's the only one up in the room right now. Say hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. <laughs> uh, this is her parents' bedroom. Lily is also sleeping in here right now. Um, overall, pretty decent room. I would say that the room last night was a lot better than this one. Um, that's just my personal opinion. The freaking pull-out couch was definitely a lot more comfortable in the last place that we were staying at, which was in like Texacana or something like that, Texas. Um, anyways, we are about to head down, eat some breakfast, and then we are trying to find some things to do in Texas. I wish I would have asked you guys like about a week ago, if you guys are in the area, if you would like to do a meetup or if you would just like to, uh, kind of show us around, show us some things to do because we are completely lost. I've been trying to find things online, but it seems like everything here costs money, like not that much, but it's like 20 bucks to get into like museums and even parks. You guys have to pay to get into parks. That's weird. Um, but yeah, anyways, with that being said, we are going to head down to breakfast right now and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. <music> Okay. 
Okay, crew, we just finished up with breakfast. It is 2.10 right now. We are at North Park Mall. Um, this is literally all we know to do is check out malls while we are down here in downtown Dallas. This place is absolutely sweet. Right now, actually behind me, you guys can see that there's a sweet uh, statue. This is all in the center of the actual mall. We are literally surrounded by four walls that is just the rest of the mall, like Louis Vuitton, Burberry, Gucci store. This place is absolutely dope. I could totally see us living here, honestly, but I'm going to wait for Camden to check it out. And then we are also gonna check out Florida too, which I don't even know if I mentioned to you guys this. Me and Camden have uh, had plans on moving in together, also with Heather. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit to let you guys in. We are going to be watching a movie at three o'clock, so we only have about like 50 minutes to chill out. I do wanna fly up the drone sometime today and get some sweet drone shots of downtown Dallas. That would be cool. Did I say Dallas? Is that where we are? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get around to shopping and then we might fly the drone a little bit later. Another really cool thing about malls down here in Texas, they have statues literally placed all over the place, like this one right here. And then this place even has a freaking Chipotle. Like we do not have stuff like this where we are from in Columbus at all. The biggest mall that we have there, I would say arguably is Easton or Polaris, but even both of those combined don't even touch the mass, like the massitude of this place at all. This place is sweet. And then we are about to go and check out the AMC theater here in a second. What are we going to see? The Lego movie two? Isn't or no? it romantic? That's not as fun. All right, crew, we are out of the movie theater right now. Great movie, what was it called? I forget. Isn't it romantic? Isn't it romantic? I don't even like her as an actress, but it was a great movie. We are uh, now downtown in Dallas right now. And I was walking by and I saw this Ferrari just sitting here, but like literally it's covered in dust. I know my light picks that up. That's freaking insane. It's just sitting here in a parking garage. But right now, me and Heather are actually going to be heading to a Starbucks. I really wanted to get some drone shots while I was downtown um, because our hotel is a little bit away and it's also right next to an airport. So I wasn't even able to fly it, which is kind of a bummer. So we are going to head to this local Starbucks, fly up the drone, see what sweet drone shots we can pick up. That was a mouthful. That was a mouthful. So actually scratch the drone footage. I don't want to be an idiot and try to fly this thing in temperatures that I am not comfortable with. First of all, it's freezing cold outside. I start my drone up and it was like, what did it start at? 11.8 degrees Celsius. And then it got up to like 18.2 when I was trying to fly it. But the, it, it's like 20 mile per hour winds outside, which isn't crazy but it was just like boggling around everywhere. And keep in mind, my drone is pretty beat up. I mean, like this thing's literally broken. I have a hair tie holding it on. So not the best drone. Um, so I really did not feel comfortable taking it up in this kind of weather. I tried letting it warm up. I tried my best for you guys. I'm sorry, I just can't. I really do not want to crash this thing and then have it wrecked. But I do want to start throwing more drone footage into my videos. I mean, I just have this thing kind of like sitting around and it never gets used. Um, but yeah, with that being said, we are going to get back into the van and find something else to do for you guys. We were Jay chilling on top of this building and then these guys randomly rolled up. These things are freaking dope. The car scene in Texas is so much sweeter than the one in Ohio. That S550 is badass. Uh, we might have a change in plans here. These dudes are dope. I'm gonna go ahead and shout out their Instagram too. I'm gonna go ahead and get it from the owner. Make sure you give these guys a follow because these are some dope rides. What's your guys' Instagram? Um, at DFW Most Wanted. Okay, all right. And we got a couple more people here. Do you, do you guys have like certain meet times or is it just throughout the week? Uh, just, Anytime we can meet up, man. We okay. just really. send it in the group chat. If you can well, come you when, can whenever we're not working or anything yeah you okay we that's work, sweet cool. yeah that's for sure well when i first met you i thought you were about to jump me but super <laughs> super cool dude <laughs> he's black that's okay. <laughs> that's okay that's not it bro that's okay super sketchy but uh yeah pretty pretty dope cars this place is sweet you guys have definitely made my night for sure and that's gonna be the end of the video. The Texas trip was super, super fun. Thank you guys so much for taking me along for the ride. How was your trip overall, would you say? It was good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would. That didn't seem too reassuring. <laughs> it was interesting.
interesting. Why was it interesting? Um, because we didn't really do much. We just shopped. Yeah, but I mean, we also should have drove separately, in my opinion. But yes, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope that you guys did enjoy so, so much. If you guys did, make sure you smash the like button. As always, consider subscribing to the 614 Crew. I will have a video out coming on Monday. Um, it's going to be totally about the car because we are actually about to go see Paul later today with Camden. So, uh, yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button as always. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.